Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're diving deep into everything we know and everything you need to know about Apple's next-gen MacBook Pro. If you're wondering whether to buy the M4 this year or hold off for the M5, yeah, you'll want to watch this first. M5 MacBook Pro. Why the M5 MacBook Pro? All right, let's talk about why the M5 MacBook Pro is such a big deal. Because honestly, Apple has been playing it safe for the past few years. Same design since 2021. Ever since the redesign of the M1 Pro and M1 Max MacBooks in late 2021, which brought back the HDMI port, MagSafe and SD card reader Apple has been mostly iterating. The M2 and M3 MacBook Pros kept the exact same chassis, same ports, same screen, and even the same notch. If you've seen one MacBook Pro since 2021, you've basically seen them all. Yes, the M3 chip gave us some GPU upgrades, ray tracing support, and slightly better power efficiency. But for most users, it wasn't a revolutionary jump, which is why the M5 matter because for the first time since the M1 launch, we're looking at a potential generational leap. M5, the first true next-gen MacBook Pro. The M1 chip in 2020 was revolutionary Apple Silicon. Went from concept to domination in under two years. M2 was evolutionary better than M1, but not game-changing. M3 was okay. Useful for power users, but still built on the same design foundation. The M4. Launching in late 2024 will be fast, but the design is staying exactly the same. Now the M5 is where it all changes. New chip architecture, new thermals, new display possibilities, new camera module, and potentially the first major design refresh in five years. Think about it like this. If the M1 MacBook Pro was Apple's iPhone X moment, then the M5 could be its iPhone 12 Pro Max moment. It's the maturity phase where the hardware, the chip, the display, and the software all come together in a unified, highly optimized ecosystem. We're not just talking about more power. We're talking about efficiency at a new level. It's thermal performance that could push fanless designs further better battery life despite higher peak performance. Real-world machine learning use cases thanks to an upgraded neural engine security features like Face ID and the dream of a connected MacBook with built-in 5G or LTE developers. Creatives and power users, if you're just browsing the web or answering emails, your M1 or even Intel MacBook is probably still fine. But if you're editing 8K video, a next-gen leap in both performance and efficiency. And it all starts with how Apple is building the chip from the ground up. Built on TSMC's second-gen 3 nanometers N3E process, the M5 chip is expected to be built on TSMC's N3E node the second-generation 3 nanometers process. That's a refined version of the node used in the M4, bringing better power efficiency and higher performance per watt. It's more mature, it's more optimized, and it's going to allow Apple to push more transistors into the same space. Key benefits of N3E. Up to 18% better performance at the same power or 34% lower power consumption at the same performance. Up to 1.7X transistor density compared to five nanometers. 3D chip stacking the future of ultra efficient design. Apple is rumored to be using a new packaging technology with the M5, which includes 3D chip stacking. According to Economic Daily and Ming-Chi Kuo, this could be Apple's first major move into what's called advanced packaging and thermoplastic. Carbon fiber substrates, in simple terms, instead of laying out all the chip components side by side. 2D, Apple is stacking them vertically, 3D, like layers in a cake. This improves data transfer speeds between modules and reduces power loss over internal pathways, it also allows for more. Components in a smaller footprint, expect tighter integration. Between CPU, GPU, unified memory, neural engine cache, and SRAM, redesign CPU cores, more efficiency. More performance Apple isn't just reusing the same CPU architecture from the M4 instead. They're introducing new high performance and high efficiency cores redesigned to maximize the benefits of the 3 nanometers N3E process, we could be looking at up to 12 or even 16 core CPU configurations in the M5 Pro and beyond. 
unified. Memory RAM faster, larger, smarter the M5 chip will continue using Apple's unified memory architecture. But with faster memory and potentially larger capacities, especially for the M5 Max and Ultra chips. Rumored options. 16GB base M5 32GB. 64GB M5 Pro. 128GB or more. M5 Max Ultra. Thermal management cooler under load with the new architecture and 3D stacking. Apple has the chance to improve thermals. Allowing the MacBook Pro to run cooler under load, throttle less during long exports or simulations, and potentially move. Closer to a fanless design in the smaller models if you've ever had your fans ramp up during an export or logic session. This new thermal design could be what fixes that. Security next-gen secure enclave and Face ID integration, this is huge. One of the main reasons Apple has not added Face ID to MacBooks, yet is because the current camera module is too thick to fit in the ultra-thin lid of a MacBook. But with the new compact camera module coming in 2025, leaked by Ming-Chi Kuo and a redesigned secure enclave on the M5 chip, Face ID is finally this is something people have been asking about for years. Its arrival could be the feature that finally justifies waiting for the M5. What's changing? Slimmer camera module in leaks, analyst Ming-Chi Kuo revealed Apple will switch to a new compact camera module, CCM for the 2025 M5 MacBooks. This module is expected to be supplied by Sunny Optical, replacing previous suppliers LG Innotech and Sharp Dot. Sunny Optical stands out because it can supply the camera sensor, processing unit, and lens in a single, vertically integrated package enabling a much slimmer design the shift allows. Apple to reduce the thickness of the MacBook lid and free up space for Face ID components. It's one of the most promising steps toward Apple's thin possible laptop. With this CCM shrink, Apple can now fit the TrueDepth camera with flood illuminator, IR transmitter receiver into the thin MacBook bezel, geeky gadgets, and other. Sources confirm Apple is targeting Face ID on the M5 Pro models. It's made possible by this compact redesign. What Face ID brings to the Mac instant login by simply looking at the screen? Secure authentication for passwords and Apple Pay automatic. Locking, unlocking, when stepping away or returning to your desk. Putting Face ID on Mac OS brings Mac security and convenience on par with iPhones and iPads for the first time. Camera specs higher resolution, better. Imaging the new CCM is rumored to support 1-2MP resolution. It's an upgrade from the current 108OP FaceTime camera found in M1 M4. MacBooks. Apple's design strategy thinner, leaner. Smarter digital trends and tech radar describe how this camera redesign paves the way for a thinner. MacBook overall closer to Apple's iPad Pro levels of slimness. This aligns with Apple's. Aim to achieve the thin possible laptop. A slimmer lid and smaller camera ripple through the thermal design and overall chassis way and help justify a physical redesign that's long overdue. Secure. Enclave and integration with the M5, the M5 chip includes a next-gen secure enclave, capable of managing Face ID data entirely on device. That means biometric processing stays local, not in the cloud seamless integration with login. Apple Pay and Touch ID functionality faster wake and lock-unlock transitions. Ideal use cases for Face. ID on MacBook Pro, the addition of Face ID would revolutionize workflows for creators switching devices frequently during editing. Enterprise users needing seamless login while moving around secured office environments, Mac users who rely on password managers and 2FA remote workers, especially on video calls where they need to unlock quickly, it's not just a convenience. It's the step towards a password-less future on the Mac. Macworld's report suggests production. Could begin late 2025 or early 2026, depending on Apple's chip and supply cadence. Most credible leaks point to Face ID and CCM arriving on MacBook Pro first, possibly exclusive to the Pro models before a wider rollout. Final thoughts? The Face ID upgrade on a MacBook, this isn't just a checkbox, it's the next logical step in Apple's biometric security ecosystem. With this new compact camera module, it becomes possible without compromising the laptop's design or thickness. Like, share, and subscribe.